Hi, I'm Charlie Huang from the Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine and the Frederick Health Hospital. In our flowchart series, uh, we briefly go over systematic approaches for cath lab emergencies. Today, we discuss an algorithm for coronary wire fracture uh, modified from our left main wire fracture video. I've included the link to the full video in the section below. So uh, when you're faced with a fractured coronary wire, the first question uh, you ask yourself is whether you need to worry about it. If the answer is no, uh, for example, if the wire fragment is uh, in a uh, small side branch or very distal, uh, then you could just leave it alone. Uh, for these patients, uh, you might consider uh, long-term uh, dual antiplatelet therapy. Now, if the wire fragment is in a large vessel or if the fragment is very long, uh, then you cannot just leave it alone. In this case, I suggest first doing uh, intravascular imaging to better understand the problem. That's because uh, thin stretched out wire fragments may not be visible even under uh, high power cine, and you need to have a good idea of how long the wire fragment is and whether there is any protrusion uh, into the aorta. Next, uh, you want to ask yourself uh, whether uh, you can just stent over the wire fragment. Uh, stenting over the wire fragment will pin the wire against the wall and uh, prevent it from embolizing and reduce the chance of, uh, of uh, thrombosis. And effectively, stenting uh, turns the wire fragment uh, into a strut of a bare metal stent. Um, if you can stent over the wire fragment, then just stent it. Uh, this is a simple solution. Uh, after stenting, uh, you might want to consider a long-term uh, DAPT. Now, um, if your wire fragment is very long, or if it protrudes into the aorta, uh, then you're not going to be able to stent it. Uh, also, uh, if the wire fragment is in the left main, or if it spans across the bifurcation, uh, it may not be ideal uh, to put a stent there either. If you cannot stent over the wire fragment, um, then you're going to need to uh, attempt to retrieve it. Uh, retrieving wire fragments from the coronary is usually quite difficult, uh, definitely easier said than done. Um, there are a few techniques. First, if the wire segment is uh, very uh, proximal uh, in the left main and the proximal LED or in the proximal RCA, uh, you can attempt to capture it using a snare, uh, usually a gooseneck snare. Uh, second, if the wire is a bit more distal or if the gooseneck uh, is unsuccessful, uh, you can attempt to capture it, uh, capture it by using a guideliner. Uh, the idea is to get the proximal end of the fractured wire into your guideliner first. And this can be very tricky and aspirating by pulling negative suction on your manifold as you're advancing the guideliner can sometimes help. Uh, once you've got the guideliner around part of the fractured wire, advance a 2.5 millimeter balloon next to the fractured wire inside the guideliner and inflate the balloon at high pressure uh, to pin the fractured wire against the wall of the guideliner. Uh, once pinned, uh, you can try to pull the wire out with the balloon and guideliner as a unit. Um, third, um, you can try wire twirling. Uh, the idea here is to pass multiple wires, uh, usually three or more, and twirl the wires around your wire fragment. Once the wire fragment is nice and intertwined uh, with your other wires, you can then pull the whole thing back as a unit. And sometimes using that guideliner to slide over the intertwined wires before pulling uh, is useful. If you're able to successfully uh, capture your wire fragment, uh, I then suggest doing a follow-up OCT or IVIS uh, to make sure everything is out and that there was no dissection. And you can place a stent uh, if needed uh, at this point. Um, if you're not able to capture the wire fragment, uh, then reconsider uh, whether you can stent over the wire, even if less than ideal, for example, in the left main or at the bifurcation. And if that is not possible, uh, then you'll have to call uh, for uh, surgical removal. Thank you for watching.